first thing we're doing quickly is taking things off the boat that we can measure. So we're taking the hatch off so we can replace this glass. Woo! All right, nice, thanks. No, that's gonna be nice. Oh yeah, that's I don't think be... we have to take the hatch off. You can just spread it like this. No, I wanna sand the hatch on the inside. Okay, let's see the anti-help over here. Oh gosh. <laughs> I can't even get in here, so oh, that yes. should be exciting. You're the big help. Woo! Here, you can take that. Yay! So that thanks. we're gonna replace. So exciting! Yay! I'm actually really happy to be back on the boat. Um, it's gonna look really nice, so I'll let you guys know the products we're using and we'll see how she turns out! So all of this stuff is cosmetic. We're gonna make a list right now and then we're going to start going through it. We're gonna try to get through all of these boat projects because I know you guys are so tired of watching us fix stuff. You just want to see a sail and trust me, from the bottom of my heart, I want the same thing too. So let's get cracking. All right, taking the headliner out. Last little bit of the 70s. See you later. Should we get like a new well, 70s do... <laughs> headliner with like flowers on it? Of course. This is me we're talking about. It's probably going to be pink and sparkly. So I'm thinking that we do. What about a mirror? <laughs> oh my gosh. <gasps> Actually, a mirror on the ceiling. That would be pretty pimp. <laughs> Can we not do that? We could. But I want to do Wayne's coat. Like stark white Wayne's coat. Like Wayne's world? Wayne's world. Party time. I want to, we need to take these screws out. I had a new power tool. I'm letting him touch it. Oh my gosh, look how wet it is over here. That's <gasps> all the handrail. Look at that. This is why we're sick at night. Guts to go. Let's take this guy out. Okay, so what we've done is we've taken the headliner out, as you can see on this side. And I'll just show you from this side, this is what it used to look like. So it's a piece of plywood, which doesn't seem like it's marine plywood. And then there's this old lining. We've taken this all off, so back to the bare boat right there. Barbara's gonna do a new piece of wood and a new piece of headliner. Plus now we can access the handrails from the outside, which is leaking. Look at that. Yeah, that's our biggest leaky point. Make sure that you put a lot of pressure on it. So most important thing that you want to remember when you're doing a job like this is to make sure that you collect all the right screws from the job that you're taking out, putting it in a Ziploc, marking it. Even if you think you're not going to use it again, make keep sure that it. you keep them so that you can size them when you go get new ones. And also sometimes mark exactly where you took them out because you don't want to drill new holes into the boat unless the hole doesn't look like it's really good and you need to drill a new hole to make it sure that it's most secure. So there's a tip for you. Make sure that you keep everything in market like Aubrey's doing right now. These are holding the propane tank on top and we didn't want it. We knew we were going to take the headliner out so we just put them right through the headliner. So we're going to take the headliner out and then we're going to put these back on to secure it. And then they'll be hidden behind the headliner. We'll take some dikes and cut these flush so we can put the new headliner. What is it okay, my friends, look how rotten this is from the handrails. We're going to have to figure out a new handrail system. Now we'll put new handrails with 50 to 100 it in. We'll make sure that we have a lot of silicone around it and sink the screws with silicone on it or 50 to 100 There's a stuff you know. called Butra, B-Y something, and it's a, it's a gasket maker. I forget how it's spelled. I'll put the link right here in it for you guys. Over my face. Right here. Right here. <laughs> oh, you're handsome. Okay, let's do it. All right, so we're almost halfway done with the wood project. Yes, which is very exciting. So TSP worked really well at taking off the bulk of the varnish and the stain, but we have some places that have mold, and that's because there's some water that sat in the boat when it rained. So the other thing that you need to consider about woodwork in a small space like this is you kind of want uniformity. You want to know that everything is going to look the same and it's going to feel open and, and continuing airy. continuing your lines, Exactly. Really. So we'll speak to you about what we're doing with the headliner and why. But this is what we're thinking about right now. We have this, as you come down the boat, you have this big piece of wood bulkhead. which is there. The bulkwood. Bulkhead. And then, sorry, I'm going to sneeze up all this dust. Ooh, that's Woo! a nice transition. 
just to prove that I have been sanding. Um, and then below that, I'm gonna show you quickly. We have that piece of wood right there. So what you have is you come in and you have that, and then you have that. So Aubrey was thinking maybe we should paint that a different color. Maybe we'll have that wood and then that white. But I think what we've decided and what's the best thing to do is to have it Continue. one color. Yeah. So explain to us why, artist. So uh, when you start blocking things off and have a lot of contrast, they look smaller. So what we're going to do is just continue this line of wood all the way down to the floor. All right, another thing that we need to speak to you about is price. So what did it cost us to do that? Eight dollars in TSP, ching ching. Two dollars in sponges. Five dollars in sandpaper, ten bucks in six beers. We also got free tequila from a friend and that's basically it. It's really just the manual labor that's really going to cost you money. So. If you are willing to do this yourself, you guys have seen us do so much on this boat. Like, yes, we bought the boat for $1 back in Maryland and she was a wreck. But if you're willing to do it yourself, you can have yourself a little home and a little sailboat and it looks like everything that you want it to look like. So a few tips from friends, a bottle of tequila sometimes. But I really like shiny stuff because I'm a girl. That's why I'm so shiny. So if you're a girl, you might have to spend $50 on other things. Okay. So we're getting the wood stain off with this and we're gonna leave some of it overnight with this stubborn pot and then tomorrow it's gonna be the new stain and then the new wood job begins. <laughs> I just hope I didn't ruin my unicorn pants. That would be a travesty. That's a nice picture for you right there. See you tomorrow. And just like that, it's the next day. So today we continue the wood inside. We left the paint stripper overnight. It said that it does not dry, but it does dry. So that's going to be double work for us today. So we learn with this new paint stripper, do not let it dry overnight. Don't let it stick for longer than 15 minutes so i'm pretty happy with the state of the wood right now it's looking nice and clean ready for it to be stained and oiled today so we're going to show you how we do that <laughs> very dusty on that note bless you too <laughs> paint off of this. Would it look like just like the brown color of wood after yeah. I'm done? Then we're gonna paint it. Ooh, what color? Pink? <laughs> He said something about varnish, which I wasn't aware of. I thought we were going to tent and oil it. I mean, I'm all about the varnish, but when CFN gets back and he sees me varnishing the entire inside of this boat, he's going to want to murder me. But what's new? So the main reason that we want, or that CFN wants to avoid the varnish is because there's a lot of upkeep. You have to lightly sand it and add coats every now and then so it doesn't oxidize and look funky. So we were talking about oiling it. I don't know if you guys remember back in season five, at the beginning of season five, when CFN first came to see me, we were on another boat of Freedom 36 and he had TSP'd and oiled the entire inside of the boat. Um, I'll put a link to that video in at the end of this video and you can see he did such a beautiful job. So that's what I was going for here. Um, but let's see, cause now I have professional help and that's awesome. So let's see where we go with this. He's going to come back up with some samples and I'm going to get to the bottom of this varnish or oil situation. So Stefan's going to be back in a few minutes. He's actually at the Marine liquidators looking for new windows because I pulled the windows out finally. I don't know if you remember in season five, I pulled them out and I buffed them, but the crazing in them is still crazy. <laughs> oh yeah. I tried to pull the glass out. I know you guys are going to say, why didn't you pull out the 
plexiglass and just replace it. Well, the problem was is that they were plastic welded together, so there's no fixing them. So we're gonna try to find some windows on consignment that open, which will be very exciting. All right, you guys, let's get to it and see what we're gonna do with the wood. So we've decided to go with a Sherman Williams semi-gloss indoor-outdoor varnish for the inside of the boat. But I did buy a quart of Epiphanes. So that, my friends, is gonna go on the trim and it's gonna look so beautiful. So this is what the door looked like before we started working on it. It looks absolute shit. It's not something that you want to look at. You don't really want to open it. You don't want to go into the head. This is what it looks like after we worked on it. Go drop it. Ah! Ta -da! Is that not beautiful? And that's just the first coat. We're going to do five or six. Hey, I see a wood door and I want to paint it with varnish. Wow. And the mirror's going in the center again. So we can Yeah, so we're not taking that. that out because the mirror is going to go in there, so that's not really too important right now. All right. Good job. So I just want to say that, yes, we bought it for a dollar, but if you calculate all the money that we've spent on manual labor, which we did ourselves, Wait, how, how much you charge to work on the boat per hour? How much would I charge? Yeah, so we have about a million dollar boat here. No, they, they, well, you want to know what this person boat is worth? What? At this moment right now, $1,000. There will never be a million. <laughs> <laughs> 